I'm Jane Turner from writewithjane.com. And what you're looking at is my latest book, Mindset for Business, The Art and Science of Sound Decisions. It's all packaged up and ready to be sent out to media outlets, influencers, and other people that I want to collaborate with in 2022. Now I'm sharing this with you because I want to remind you that it's not just about writing the book, it's about how you leverage the book. And so I'm using this opportunity, i.e. being Christmas and the fact that I've got a new book out on the market, to build my list of influential connections. And what you're going to be hearing in a moment is part of the audiobook of Mindset for Business. And it's actually one of my authors, Joel Annesley, sharing his story, which is part of Chapter 7. And that's all about the hero's journey. So I'm going to share that with you now, and then I'll be back again at the end of Joel's piece, just to tell you a little bit more about ways to leverage your book. An author's journey, Joel Annesley. I preface my contribution to Jane's book with the notion that writing your own book isn't for the faint-hearted, and neither is building a business. It was somewhat uncanny just how the act of writing and the process of turning my book into reality sheepishly followed the hero's journey. I don't by any means consider this a negative. Actually, there was something deeply comforting about it. When you know what the hero's journey looks like, you learn to go with the flow. I can always recall the desire to share my story about how I overcame my shy and anxious identity. I'd picture what it would be like to have my words in print for the world to see. My only problem was that I had a belief that it wasn't possible. My brain sent me messages that I must be an illiterate fool and that it would only result in humiliation should anyone glance at the words on paper. There was an inner conflict, a war that grew within, a creative genius that wished to flourish, fighting an authoritarian who gave the order of silence. I was frozen, too terrified of what the world might think of me. Stuck in my ordinary world, I saw the call to adventure come and go time and time again. I refused the call and the years passed. I had the goal of writing the book, but it was a mere pipe dream. I didn't believe it was actually possible. It wasn't until I met Jane Turner that this changed. Within a few hours, I had accepted the call to adventure, met my mentor and crossed the threshold into an exciting new world. I had made the commitment. The writing process itself, albeit very personal, is something of a collaborative effort. I could not have made it to the finish line without a mentor and allies. I left each power writing weekend that Jane runs with renewed focus and vigor to push through to the next boundary. There were many challenges along the way, and I developed a love-hate relationship with my writing. Some words I cherished, and some I absolutely loathed. Some moments I thought about dragging it all to the recycle bin, but I continued on the path. Whenever I felt challenged and self-doubt raised its ugly head, Jane gave me the encouragement I needed to restore faith and belief in myself. I saw the hero's journey unfold in front of me. I was on the journey and I sensed my darkest hour was near. It was about the three quarter mark where finishing my book felt so close, yet still so far. The problem was I hated my book. It's a strong word, but it's the truth. I reflected on the many hours I'd invested in the process only to see the formation of half-baked ideas. The inner perfectionist had raised its ugly head. It was my darkest hour where I questioned the point of my work, the book and everything really. But there was someone who never did 
someone believed from day one that I would make it to the finish line. She saw me through the darkest hour and she wasn't phased one bit. She gave me strength and confidence to continue, to push myself and defy the odds. That somebody was Jane Turner. With her help, the barriers had finally fallen and the words were flowing. I'm pleased to announce I finished my book. In the final hours, my heart was racing and the adrenaline was pumping right up until the very last sentence. The journey was finally over. I reflected on the journey, noting just how far I had come. I had crafted the art of the written word and I couldn't be more grateful. This has served me well in business because as they say, content is king and the words we use matter when it comes to getting our message out there. Before I started the journey, my book was just an idea. When I was standing behind the podium launching it, I was challenged to hold back the tears. I recall times that as a young, anxious child who would visualize his future self telling him it would all be okay. It was as if in that single moment, I was looking at that young, confused boy and sharing the words he only dreamt of hearing. You, just as you are, are enough. I tell you this story because the entire journey up to the launch of my book was one I will always cherish. I can't wait for you to go through that journey for yourself if you're thinking of writing a book. If you've already been there and your focus is now on building a business beyond your book, I want to share some of the priceless lessons I've learned since embarking on the journey of establishing my own business. Being part of Jane's power writing program not only gave me the passion and confidence to want to continue writing, but it gave me confidence to turn my book into a business where I could help others overcome anxiety and shyness. Once you become a published author, your life changes. While I won't sugarcoat my experience and say it's all been roses since, I can certainly say that Jane couldn't be more correct about the existence of the halo effect. Following the launch of my book, I've had the opportunity to be featured on podcasts and local radio. I've stepped onto stage at Jane's Author Showcase events. What's more, my words have been quoted on social media and even quoted on reputable media sources such as Inc.com. I share this with you because I want you to know that if I can do it, so can you. I'm not interested in counting how many times I've been featured here or there. The things that I value most are the personal messages sent to me from people who have been touched by the book. I also love the uncanny stories about how they stumbled across the book in the first place. This is a real testament to the power of putting your words into print. I wrote my book with a modest goal. That goal was based on the value of even just helping one person. And if that one person was me, then so be it. I enjoyed the book writing journey and embraced the idea that the outcome didn't matter. It healed me. And then I ventured on to build a coaching business. Writing a book is an incredibly focused creative process that I consider to be a wonderfully passionate art form. Building a business, on the other hand, entails wearing many hats and an almost infinite number of decisions and choices about how you might structure and market your services. Quite frankly, my initial experience beyond the book was a bit of a low. I call this phase a moment of post-task depression where the journey was now over and I found myself in overwhelm about what was to come next. I had completed one hero's journey and found myself smack bang at the beginning of another. 
stepping into the business world felt like jumping out of the comfortable pond into the great blue ocean. Endless in terms of both opportunities and decisions. If I could highlight the biggest takeaway for me so far, it would be to let go of unrealistic expectations of yourself. In the development of your business, the darkest hour exists in the realms of overwhelm. I had been running the program of too much to do, too little time in my head for far too long. I had tried to wear too many hats to the point that I couldn't keep them all on my head at once. Business success can't occur with an impatient mind and a body that can't keep up. There's no point falling over the finish line in a heap of exhaustion. When you reflect on the book writing journey being more valuable than the outcome itself, you realize that this applies to all parts of life. With that perspective, business success exists in the beauty of balance, a healthy balance between productive time and necessary downtime. In the mindfulness classes I now run, I speak of balance between the states of doing versus the state of simply being. It's incredible how much doing can be achieved after experiencing the simple state of being. While I'm still incredibly passionate about my mission and my unfolding journey, I've dropped the unrealistic expectations that I once placed on myself. I give myself permission to get the right balance of sleep and rest, along with precious time to live. While it's taken a long time to get to this point, I'm incredibly happy with where I am right now. I'm playing the business game at my own pace. This reminds me of a quote by Bill Gates. Most people overestimate what they can do in one year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years. That initial sense of overwhelm came from the lack of a clear process coupled with goalposts that were unrealistic. But something quite magical happens when you have that aha moment where you get to see the majority of problems we face are just dusty old programs we've been running over and over again. You realize your past cannot be your future if you choose to run programs that support you and guide you towards becoming the best version of yourself in your business and in your life. You don't need to compare yourself to others and you can choose to no longer give yourself unrealistic expectations. This race has one participant and that's you. If you run too fast, you'll miss out on the beauty that is the journey. You can be you and you can do it in your way. As I embark on my own next chapter, I'm about to emerge on the other side of becoming a qualified clinical hypnotherapist and strategic psychotherapist, where I'm blessed to add more tools to my tool belt to help my clients tackle their lifelong battles with anxiety with ease. As I reflect back on this incredible journey, I can't thank Jane Turner enough for her coaching and mentorship. As I like to say, it all started with a book. I was delighted when Jane gave me the opportunity to design a success mindset meditation for you. I hope you enjoy it and go on to thrive in your business. So I want you to take a moment to think about how you're going to use your client's testimonials within your book and how you may further leverage that even if you don't do an audio book per se, there's nothing wrong with actually reading out a section of your book and putting it up on YouTube and then sharing it with your potential clients like I'm going to be doing with this piece. So the point of this short video is just to get you thinking. So if you need any help at all in this space, whether it's about writing your book or promoting your book or 
building your business and your profile through being a published author, reach out and contact me at writewithjane.com because I'd love to have a conversation with you about all of the wonderful opportunities that are out there.